G'day everyone. In this video today, we're going to go over adding animated transitions to your layers and elements in your GT title. Now, if you don't know much about the GT title designer, it's probably best to watch one of our other videos that goes into more uh, explanation as to how to create the titles. This is going to be based on people that already have the title ready and they want to add transitions to it. If you want to create or use custom animated titles, you will need to have vMix 4K or Pro. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just go up to here and find the animation tutorial. So this is the animation that I've got. So I'll, I'll go over here to the right hand side, which is where I can play the transition in and out. I'm going to press this and it's going to show you my in and out transition in and out for these layers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove all of these transitions and we're going to show you how to add your own. Okay, so here we have our basic static title ready to be animated. Now, we've already got our elements and all our layers on the right hand side here. Now, if you don't have this and you're not sure how to add um, a animated title or add titles in the GT title designer, make sure you check out some of the other videos first so you can learn how to create the titles. All right, so in order to animate these uh, transitions in and transitions out, we need to go to the animation tab in the GT title designer. So you'll notice up the top here, we have a, a couple of different things. We have a clock here. Um, we can play, pause the animations. We can play a particular animation. Uh, and then we can go in and out. So that's the transition in and out. It's probably the most useful thing that you're going to use. You can also press this button over the right here to do the transition in and out. And you can press the home key as well on the keyboard if you wanted to do the transition in and out. Now you notice next to that we have the storyboard so we can choose what transitions we're going to use. Today we're looking at transition in and out for the elements and layers. So I'm going to make sure that's selected as transition in. Now next to that you'll see the transitions. So these are all fairly self-explanatory. Um, so you have things like bouncing which will bounce in from a different from an angle or a side. Um, things like reveal will reveal content, expand will expand the content, fade will fade it, fly will bring it in from the side or the top or bottom. Um, depending on what you want to do. Rotate will spin it around, zoom will zoom it in, zoom fade will zoom in and fade at the same time and that type of thing. So these are fairly self-explanatory and it's probably best idea to, to play around with them yourself to see what's going to work best for you. Now next to that you'll see a direction as well. So um, let's just select one here. So we'll select, um, we'll go to this name layer and we'll go fade. Now when we select the transition it will open up a timing box as well. So the timing box, the delay refers to how long before that transition starts. So typically if it's going to be the first element or layer that we're um, transitioning, we'll leave that zero. So it happens immediately when we want to transition. Then we can set the duration of the transition. So this fade in seconds here, so that will go half a second. Uh, and then we can choose what sort of um, easing that we have for it. So we can make it linear, which is the same speed, cubic in, which will speed it up um, from the start. Uh, and then slow down and then cubic easing out will go slow and then fast and then the bounces there. Um, cubic easing in and out will go fast, slow, fast, slow. Um, so you can try those out for yourself as well. And you can also change the direction depending on what you're doing. Uh, you may need to use reverse in order to remove something or do it how you are trying to achieve it in the transition. So that's something to play around with as well. Um, we're not going to go over that today because we're kind of doing a basic transition. Uh, and then obviously the direction. Fade doesn't have a direction, so we're not going to go use that. But if we select fly, we could choose the direction in which it flies. All right, so what we can do is um, on the right hand side here, you notice that we've got a couple of layers. Now we also have different elements underneath that as well. So with the transition effects, you can actually transition in or transition out an entire layer or you can do the elements separately as well. So you have a couple of different options when you are um, creating a animated transition in. So we go back up here, we can, we'll can we select the name layer, which is the top layer here. So what we're going to do is by selecting a layer, it's going to animate everything that's within it. So the name and this purple rectangle all at the same time. So it makes it a little bit more seamless when you are transitioning in, if you wanna do it all together. So we'll go over here and we'll make sure that it says transition in. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to select a simple fade. So we're going to fade it. We're not going to have a delay on it because we want that to be the first thing that appears. And we're going to make the duration yet half a second is fine. Now you'll notice next to that we have some numbers. So if we wanted to, we can actually add three levels of transitions to a particular transition. So if I selected the second layer, um, I can then choose uh, rotate, 
And a third layer, I could also choose fly. Um, so that means that we can make them happen all at the same time if we selected the same duration um, and we left the delay zero. So what I could actually do is I could make it fade, I could make it rotate, and I could make it fly all at the same time if I wanted to. Now I could also stagger these by fading it first and then setting a delay on the rotate to 0.5 and pressing enter. And then on the third one, I could make it fly or I could make it do something else on another delay. So I could make it do multiple things all at the same time or at a staggered timing. So I'm just going to click none because we only want to do one for at the moment. So make sure if you're not using it to click none. That way you won't be confused as to whether you've got a transition running or not. Uh, and then also make sure uh, that the colors here aren't green. So green means that there is a transition in that level. So if we select this fly one here, you notice that it'll go green. So make sure you click none. Now, if you're not quite sure whether you have a transition or not uh, set up, and you're not tr quite sure why something's spinning or why it's not doing what it's supposed to, you can click this little box here and it will show you all of the animations that you've got on this title. So we've got the um, transition here for the name layer, which is what we've set up. So that's the only one that we've got there, so we shouldn't expect any sort of weird activity. Okay, so now we're going to show you what that looks like. So we're going to go to the play in, play out button here, and that's just going to fade that entire layer, as you can see there. It's just going to fade that whole layer. Now, what we could do, we could do for the title layer as well. What we can do is we could do a reveal. So make sure we've got transition in. We're going to do a reveal. We're going to do it from the top. And we're going to do the, the rectangle and the, um, the title at the same time. So we're going to set a delay on this. So for the first one, we set the delay to be zero, but the duration was 0.5. So we need to add 0.5 to this delay if we want to stagger it. So it's going to happen after the first transition. So now the first transition, will uh, that will fade in, the top will fade in, and then this layer here will then reveal itself out from the, the top of the layer um, at a 0.5 delay. So there we go, that's how we set that up. So we've created a transition for the top layer and then the bottom layer to um, appear. Okay, so now we don't have to do the entire layer if we don't want to. So I'm gonna make these none. So what we can actually do is we can actually animate the individual elements all differently. Let's just go for example for this purple rectangle, I'm select transition in and I'm going to make this, uh, let's go, make it expand from the top left hand corner. Now if you're working within the layer, it's going to expand from the top of the layer because that's where the purple rectangle is. So that's what that's going to do, it's going to take a duration of 0.5. Then what we're going to do is we're going to fade the name up at a delay of 0.5, that's right, because the first one we want it to expand first and then we want to do the title. Then we're going to go down to, I'll quickly show you what that looks like. And then we're going to go down to the white rectangle and we're going to reveal that. We're going to make the delay for that one because it's going to be 0.5 for the purple rectangle and then 0.5 for the name, and then we want to have the white rectangle go after one second. So we're going to reveal that from the top of this layer down here. And then the title, we're going to, uh, what can we do? Let's do a um, bounce in from the right hand side for some reason and we need to make this delay 1.5. So we've gone through and we've added up all of those durations, so they're all one, uh, sorry, 0.5, so that adds up to 1.5, and we'll make this duration 0.5 as well. Okay, so from what I can gather, from what I remember, the purple rectangle will expand, uh, the text will come up, then the white rectangle will reveal, and the title will bounce in from the right. So here we go. So that's how we can set up um, each of the elements to have their own particular transition animation. So those were all for the transition in. Now I will show you how to set up the transition out now. Now you can also do the elements as well, like you could set up each element to transition out, but I prefer to do the entire layer just because it makes it a lot easier and a lot more seamless. Typically when you're transitioning in, you want it to look pretty cool, but when you're transitioning out, you just go 
All right, off you go. Let's get off the screen. Um, you might not want to do it like that. That's just how I like to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and reverse what we've got um, on this title layer here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this bottom layer reveal. So I'm going to make it unreveal back up there, similar to how it came out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the title layer here, and then I'm going to make sure that I select transition out. Now, this might sting you. You have to make sure that when you're playing around, especially if you've got a lot of transitions, to make sure that you're working on the correct one. Trust me, I have um, made this mistake a few times. So uh, make sure that you've got transition out if that's what you're trying to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this reveal. The delay I want is zero because I want it to be the first one to happen. And then I'm going to make this 0.4. So you basically you just enter the number and press enter. And then the style, I'm going to make this cubic easing in. So it's kind of going to um, zoom back up into the, um, the name. All right, so I want the direction to be here now because it's transition out. Uh, this is the direction that I need it to go. So it's something to play around with just in case, um, you know, to get the right directions for the transitions in then transitions out. All right, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's see what this looks like. So yeah, that's exactly what we wanted it to do. So the title layer now absorbs back up. It, it unreveals itself. Um, and because we did the whole layer, it does the title and the rectangle at the same time. All right, so now we want to do the top one. So we'll get the top layer here. Make sure that we've got transition out selected. Uh, and what do we want to do? I reckon we can do a, let's go a reveal, but let's do it in the center like so. So we'll delay this to 0.4 because that was the duration for the title layer that we had, I believe. Double check that. Yep, 0.4. Uh, and then we'll try here, we'll set the X axis. Um, let's just try this. Yep, so that's exactly what we wanted. So basically what the reveal is doing is it's bringing it together along the X axis in the middle uh, and it's um, unrevealing itself essentially. Uh, so that's how you go about adding um, animation to different titles and elements, transition in and transition out. And obviously you can do multiple as well, like I mentioned before. So on a transition in, I can do multiple things um, if I wanted to. All right, so what you want to make sure that you do, you go ahead and save it. So let's save this um, title and now we can go to vMix and we can add it. So all we need to do is go to add input and go to title. Now if it's something you've recently saved in the GT title designer, it will appear in the recent section here. We can click on this and we can click OK. You can also browse for it if you want to. So here we have um, everything ready to go. Here is our um, title. So basically with the overlay, I like to leave this to cut. Um, so that way, if you use cut, it's going to use all of the exact transition elements that you've used in the GT title designer. If you made this something like a fade or a wipe, it's going to wipe it and do the transition at the same time. So it's ideally not what you want, especially if you spend all the time and effort in the GT title designer. So we're going to click OK um, and then we're just going to overlay this and it should perform all of the things. Okay. So that was it. So if you do have any questions about the GT Title Designer, please send us an email via the support page on vmix.com as it's really hard to answer technical uh, questions from YouTube comments. So send us through an email at vmix.com. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the GT Title Designer, feel free to check out all the other videos as well. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.